The race to reopen hitting home. Protesters showing up at Fresno City Council President Miguel Arias's apartment. And tensions getting physical. Originally, we came here and we didn't think he was going to be home. Arias says his kids were napping feet away from the door. These are people who are known to be Second Amendment, you know, advocates and who have made threats against my personal safety in the past. And so I was not going to take any chance of letting him come within 10 feet of my kids. After police arrived, protesters gathered outside the apartment complex. And the clash continued, but with neighbors. And Fresno has just so much racial tension, and it's finally bubbling over the top. Uh, just an attempt to ask a couple questions. That's all we wanted to do today. If he didn't want to answer those questions, he should have shut the door. Jason Phillips is one of the protesters pressing charges. And after reviewing this video, Fresno PD facilitated a citizen's arrest of Arias for three counts of misdemeanor battery. He was cited and released. Those charges have been filed, um, and we plan to be there uh, and uphold those charges and, and make sure that Mr. Arias is held responsible. The group then went to Mayor Lee Brand's home, where police were standing by. Brand said they had a productive and peaceful conversation, but as a precaution, officers parked outside the homes of all council members and city manager. Let's be safe and let's think of one another and, and find other ways of, of you know, having a, a, a good, robust debate without threatening anybody's personal safety or space. Many in the crowd at Arias's apartment were also in this one. The Freedom Rally outside City Hall last week. Councilmember Gary Bredefeld was there too, supporting the reopening of Fresno. But even he says this crossed a line. This should never happen. I completely condemn this thing where you go to people's houses and you kind of confront people. Should never ever happen again. At a time we need to come together. Videos like this showing we are further apart. All we're doing is trying to do the best we can during this unprecedented pandemic. None of us signed up for our families to be threatened and our kids to be put at harm's way. And it's not clear how long those officers will be parked at elected officials' homes tonight, but we do know that they have increased patrols throughout the night. Reporting live in Fresno, Kirsten Mitchell, KC24, Local News That Matters.